so I'm just going to show you how to quickly create a gallery page of images. Uh, I'll add a new page. Uh, we have a whole lot of different page types available, um, including your basic single blank page, facts and lists, news blogs, etc. I'll just click into the photo galleries area to take me to a series of options of different page layouts for the gallery. Uh, in this case, I might choose the pop-up slideshow. And I'll call it animals. Here's my new gallery page. As you can see, it doesn't have the editor, but it has an area to upload the photos. So I'm just going to quickly grab my photos here and drag them in. And there are our photos. So I'll quickly preview this page to see what it looks like using the magnifying glass. And here's our photos of different sizes. Some are landscape and one's a bit square, so I'm not too happy with this layout, so I'm going to make a change to it. First I'll delete the images by clicking the checkbox and then go delete pages and files. And I'm going to go to the options tab up here on the top right for this specific page. And down here I want uh, square thumbs. So I'll go back to the animals page. And here we go, there's our animals. So now if I preview that page, I could use a magnifying glass or click view. And here we have our gallery and the images are now square when they're in thumbnail mode. And if I click in, I get the full image. This image is quite big. I might like to um, just resize it a little bit. So if I wanted to do that, I could go back here again and uh, I could either delete individually or if I have a whole lot of images as I did before, select the checkbox and delete them. And I'll go back to options and I'll say oh, they're a little bit big so I might make it a maximum of 800 by 800. Go back to the page, re-upload them. Here they are, I'll preview that page again. Now when I click up, they're a little bit smaller. They're to either a maximum height of 800 or a width, so that looks a little bit better. Okay, so I've got in this gallery I've got three across and I've got four images so I might look at changing the layout a little bit. I'm just going to go back here and I might look at changing the layout from what we had when we started from a three column. So I'll click this layout tab. It takes us back to our list of gallery pages. Let's make it gallery four column. Let's preview the changes. Now our gallery is four column across. Not pop up though. Okay. Use this layout. Preview. And there we go. Now I'm just going to create another gallery. Back into add new page, photo galleries. Uh, I'll use the gallery three column. I'll call it more animals. So now I have my animals here. I can, if I wanted to separate the cats from the rest, I can check both boxes and then say move. And I can move to a more animals page. 
There we go. So now we've got our, our bunny rabbit and our puppy here. If I go to more animals, you'll see it now contains the two cats. Like so.